Oof. What is rhythm? What is rhythm? American rhythm technique. Um, I mean, I, I kind of. <laughs> you can't sum it all up into one line. Like I don't want to take up an no, hour no. of everybody's it describe, time. Describe to somebody how to how to dance in their body visually what is rhythm dancing that's the only question this has been from day one what is the okay technique? let's get more specific than that which dance okay let's go let's go rumba okay uh and are we talking uh so this is something i need to ask because it's not made clear in dance so like there is different versions of rumba there's closed bronze rumba there's closed silver rumba, there's closed gold rumba, and there's open, uh, let's just say open rumba. Okay. Which so of those when, am I? So when, so when judges are judging, you're saying, depending on the level, that the technique itself changes? Um, no, but uh, I think that it will make it more clear uh, to all, of, to you and viewers, if I have some more guidelines, some more specifics to meet. Okay, um, since we got, since we'll hopefully have a lot of pro-ams, let's go with um, a closed, a closed bronze. That's probably a good idea of her so that everybody can kind of understand. So a closed bronze rumba, uh, technically speaking, in my opinion, let's say before you get, cause I would go in more detail even in my own rule book, but, uh, but bef let's say, for keeping it short, before you would get to close silver rumba, um, I need to see that in, that the dancer understands how to swing their hips fully over the ball of the foot that they're moving towards with delayed rotation. And I need to see the knees, uh, the knees straight before any swing of hip action ever occurs. And I need to see ankles activate, I guess, simply put, at all times. That would be, to me, uh, what I would need to see from a bronze rumba dancer. And if they scored perfectly in each of those categories for the time spent on the floor, literally no mistakes in those categories, then I would put, allow them to dance silver. Okay, now if we if we just escalate that up to open, what would be the difference in what you just said? Uh, open, you would have to also incorporate correct use of the rib cage and your scapulae. Uh, and I would also be judging a more strict uh, judgment on posture in general. I would bring, start bringing attention to posture probably to some degree. Um, and see, that's where that, that would involve a lot of specifics there. <clears throat> and now that's the, and to, to kind of like take what you said, because I, I bought into everything you just said. Like, I, I'm like, huh, yes, yes, yes. Um, and, and it's very detailed. You need to write your own book. Um, <laughs> but to me, what you just, the difference of what you just said was the end product is technique. To bring it into what levels, is? the end product of what you said, the open stuff, that's, that's technique. That's the end finished product. I think for me, subjectivity comes in to when they, when they start breaking it down into levels of like, well, I'm expecting this much of that finished product, you don't understand it here. And I'm expecting you to understand this much here, okay? That's yeah, why I was saying, sure. and that's why I was saying in the beginning, I'm not talking about subjectivity, I'm talking about what is the finished product? What, is that, what does that look like? Because we can always talk about the levels but what is the but product? I think that talking about the levels is what makes the rule book. And that's why I said it's a subjectivity. It's a subjectivity. Well, let's get the subjectivity out of there and figure out the most efficient process. Because what you're describing is a great process. It's an absolutely great process. And I think there needs to be a, to answer your question, I mean, to bring up your point, I think there should be a, okay, this is how much we expect at bronze. This is how much we expect at silver. This is, I would love that. I would love that. But when we when I hear the, the term technique, I always think of the finished product, and then we just sub, sub, subjectively what I've learned what do you mean is by that? People, because no one when 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 tech when technique is described to, like when it was described to me, no one ever said it's just this. They talked about the rib cage action. They talked about what the finished product looks like. 
But then, but then they started teaching me at a level that I could understand at that point, which was, let's get your hips swinging. So the, for me, technique is the finished, what is the finished product? What, and the technique is, the technique is what makes one style different than another style. What makes rhythm different than, 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 than Latin? The technique. So there's gotta be something that's different between the two that makes it that. Because they both have hip action. <clears throat> See, the problem is that that implies that the technique that's used in, because technique, what we're describing right now, uh, what I didn't specify was timing so much. Like the rules that I gave, yeah, that's the were, they were safe rules to give because they didn't break any timing rules. But there are mm -hmm. more specifics of technique that you can get into, which will yeah. change dance per dance. Um, and based off style of what you're trying to create, rise, fall, whatever. Um, and when you get into open, you start to play with those things. So then that's when it gets kind of uh, difficult and the technique does actually change. Uh, I will say it does in the sense of in open, there is no timing. And what I mean by that is I have more spaces that I can make choreographically, but, but yeah. the technique for me or doesn't. Less. The technique oh, yeah. doesn't change, but I have more time to explore my body more. But the technique for me doesn't change. I was actually listening to, uh, I listened to a lecture and they were talking about Latin and they were talking about how if I have longer between a certain two beats, I can hold the hip longer and then delay that hip roll versus if I have a faster beat, I got to move it through. So <laughs> sometimes you're lunging talking, and you're and not even doing a walk. You know uh, what I mean? So there are different techniques for different, like, it, sure, it only comes to play when you start to get into the artistry of things. When you're not mm -hmm. just doing on one, two, I'm making a slow step. On three and four, I'm making a quick step. You Got know it, what I mean? okay. When Got you it. Do, th there is Got a change it. there. <clears throat> so I should have said, honestly, I should have said basic, <laughs> basic technique because what you're talking about is advanced technique. You're talking about like exploring time with the body and stuff like that. And what I meant was, if you had to describe rhythm to, as a basic concept of what it is, most people say the, the, it's about Cuban motion. That's what they would say. We'll describe that. Oh, see, well, I can't. I don't have something that describes it like that. It's so complex. <laughs> there is nothing. It really is. But what's, the <laughs> but what's the difference between rhythm and Latin then? Well, that and see, that's why, that's why it is nice for me to have you here on so many, I mean, not just for this reason, but for many other reasons too, but no, I'm because I don't know. I, like, I, I didn't train Latin. Now, I can tell you from being really good at what I do, yeah. having never trained in Latin, I could get on the floor and probably beat lots of people who've trained in Latin, who and trained in Latin about, for years. But, well, it, but, we're, but we're, we're professionals, which means just because we don't compete in something doesn't mean that we haven't trained and studied it. And but I get I there's, really I get there's a difference between being in battle and training to be in battle. I get that. I totally understand that. But when you have a basic concept of Latin, it's not like you don't know what Latin is. Now, if you want to go into advanced techniques again, yes, you may not be there. But I guarantee you, as a professional instructor, you know basic concept. I can look at movement and make it better. Always. Okay, I can always do this. We get that. We get so, it. You're a genius. Got it. <laughs> uh, but but that's why uh, that's how why I can understand Latin. I haven't studied it. What I've studied, I guess you could call study. I've watched Latin dancers many times. Um, so that is studying, and I guess. Um, and I usually watch the best ones. Um, and I can break down what they're doing. So I, I so in a sense, I understand what Latin is, but I don't have it on recall because I haven't gone to this dance, then this dance, then this dance, then this dance, then this dance. And, and experience the change from dance to dance. So then very often to describe the differences, we have to compare them to one another, creating you know things that are relevant for people. So I'm unable to really successfully do that. So to me, that's not being trained. Uh, it's not on call. So, is, so yeah, the, so I can understand movement better than most people who will say they've learned Latin and studied well, let me, it for years. Let me ask you this just to be just because uh, we're, we're back to the point again because we kind of went on a tangent of other stuff but my bad uh, <laughs> what, what, is your, what, are, what are your different school what do you see as the different schools of rhythm right now from what you're seeing because we know we know at the top of the ball game there's you know a few few big instructors that are teaching you know winning rhythm right now so what are the different schools that you see 
like mm. you know that they're doing like like in those tops uh people the differences right. in those because uh, as, as one of my instructors one of my coaches told me a long time ago the people at the winning decide what the rest of it looks like that's what was described to me the people that, that win sense, yeah they describe what's going to be that what's going to be the winning technique you know it's so and you're right that's absolutely how it is the only thing that can combat that is that if someone can describe something to you and then you achieve it right on spot now that can combat uh what, so what are the different a winner has to say from your observation well, yeah what are the different what are watching um, out there? i mean obviously we have sam and we can see sam's brand of sam's brand of um rhythm through obviously you we can see it through uh, um, uh, uh what's your name i'm sorry uh kirsten and um Koshko. Uh, yeah we can see it through them uh we saw it through dacho and brie so see, okay so then here let me give a quick uh like i don't see Mm, here, maybe this is a little more fair than what I was going to say. Like, I don't, what I was training, I don't see it in Kristen and Tashko. But I do see some similarities between myself and Brie and Deicho and between Kristen and Tashko and Brie and Deicho. Um, But to me, when I look at Kristen and Tashko dance, I don't see what I worked on. Um, to me, it was much more, and it's kind of ironic actually, because I, you would think that Sam would be um, teaching much more of the hardcore old school rhythm stuff and Billy would be uh, teaching more new wave Latin stuff. But uh, we kind of got the opposite in terms of when we trained with them. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sam seemed to like anything that looked good. You should be um, trained with Sam as well. Sam? Yeah. Yes. You should Sam. I mean, we okay. didn't train with Sam nearly as much as we trained with Bill. Okay. Uh, yeah. I didn't you know, we trained with Bill every other week for like eight hours. Right, know, right. I knew that, but I didn't know like And yeah. then we'd also there was a almost a year there where we were like during doing that, also flying to Arizona each month and working with Brian Dacho. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So we were heavy into the hip lift technique. Uh but this was a while ago. Um, and, you know, I'll have discussions with Bill that he, I don't, I, I, he's, a not, he's so nice. He won't come out and just say, you're wrong, Jonathan. But I feel, <laughs> I feel like he disagrees with what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. um, but he doesn't dive into the subjects a whole lot. Probably he would more if I saw him more often still. But anyway, um, so different schools of thought, do I see them? Like, my point in bringing all that up is that even with me representing hip lift technique style, what we really did was just more old school rhythm versus what was the wave that was trying to happen was Latin, more, more like Latin, uh, not nearly as much of a bent knee and uh, moving quickly over that. I mean, that's really the only key thing that I saw ever. That was the only distinctive thing ever that I noticed is that it felt like we were trying to be more old school and keep a heavier bent knee uh, than uh, others were. Now, uh, okay, so I agree with that, that I, that's what I see as well. I do see a heavier bent knee, but then I, you know, you got people nowadays saying it's just supposed to be a soft knee. It's just supposed to be flex. Well, you know, as we learn to dance, rid of it. <laughs> So that's two different schools I'm hearing right now. Well, no, I'm getting into it. I'm, get, I'm bringing it back around. I got you. So. No, no, you're, you're, you're right on. You're right on. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you. Okay. But my point is that, uh, so, at, but as we got better, we did bend the knee less and less. So the reason that Latin dancers looked different is because someone made emphasis on bending the knee. Uh, like like if literally just that idea had never been invented for American rhythm probably the being upset with Latin dancers wouldn't be an issue now I don't know if had it never been invented would American rhythm still be different from Latin I don't know because the overemphasis on bending the knee did certainly create certain movement characteristics that we tend to hang on to stylistically um, or characteristically in rhythm as we move forward but um, but the number one problem with a strong bent knee is that your hip is going to swing while your knee is bent. And that is not okay. Like ever in any scenario ever, it doesn't look good. Um, so not say you don't do it, but it just, it, 
it never looks good. It never feels right. Um, anyway, so uh, so what I saw from then to now, the differences between me and Dejo, between me and Tashko and Kristen, between me and anyone else on the floor, to me, what it ultimately translates in my mind now is just progress in studying the dance. Like, I don't value value any one thing more than another. And I don't notice any school of thought conquering its job and teaching its school students so well that it's so clearly demonstrated on the floor. Um, I see some people who look like they're more so trying to hold on to a bent knee, but that's disappearing. I think that was more so my era of dancing. I think they're getting out of that now. It seems to be much more it was slightly before all around. Yours. It was before yours because I did study, I, once again, yeah. I did study rhythm. I did see the, the trends that were going on. And I even heard, you said you want me to name, name drop. I did hear Bree and Dejo in a lecture bring up that, you know, it was too heavy. People were right. trying to trying to get into fixed positions of bending a knee and it looks like you're squatting the whole time. Yeah, so it's just not. So I, I knew I knew that that must be one of the characteristics you're talking about that came out of people trying to hold stuff, but yeah. And so then I think that's where I think that was kind of the embryo stage of the hip lift technique because then lo and behold, a couple years later, here we go. So, but um, so watching that, you know, there was that, but that may have been more of a to me. I don't know if I can blame the teaching because then there's, there's there's the concept of understanding the teaching where you have people that are looking at it going, well, they said bent knee, so bend it and bend it. So it, it so I think it just became bad dancing of regurgitation of bad and from bad interpretation of good stuff. So you and know? I agree with that. And this is I think where the concept of hip lift technique was kind of created. I would imagine. I never had this discussion with Bill, but I would imagine it was created because of uh conversations like this like when and where and how much and all that stuff so that was the purpose for creating a standardized technique um and that's really all i i felt hip lift was i didn't felt hip lift even when doing it was a complete system i felt like it was a request it was a a demand to say we are going to have a standardized technique now let's all gather here and work on this um and I think most people just interpret it as, oh, he thinks he's got something that's better than everybody else's. And I, that's not how I looked at it. I looked at it as, oh, he's got this idea that we should all dance, you know, the same because no one else is working on it. <laughs> and, I agree uh, with that. I agree with that. I, I, and what I think, of, from what I heard in watching, um, I, I was watching, um, I think I was watching Peter Stocker Bro and I think Lena James or something like that. And they were talking about the differences, even in what they think about movement in Latin, they did discuss, they have differences of opinions in certain things. But what they kind of said was, and this kind of goes back to what I was saying about rhythm, they said they're disagreeing on certain aspects, but the principle doesn't change. And that's what I meant by technique. The principle yeah, of Latin- Yeah, let's see, those are just, hold that's on, just- let that. Hold on, let me finish that, let me finish that. The principle of, and that's what I mean by technique, the principle of technique doesn't change itself, but the the variances of like, certain things have to evolve and change because, because when you, like obviously we're dancing, we're more athletic now. We're, 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 we're doing a lot more things now. Um, God, even people are more flexible later in life. So with that difference in change, you do have to talk about the advancement of, you know, body movement, but the principle of Latin has not changed. Okay. In rhythm, are we are we at that? And, I'm, and this is my question: Is it a fact of people aren't aren't agreeing on the principle of rhythm, or is the principle there and they're just disagreeing on the variances? And what is your opinion on that? <laughs> I, I would just say that the, that was two people who were too lazy to continue having the conversation, um, or uh, too tired of dealing with each other to continue having the conversation. Like you gotta come to more of a specific. Yeah, I don't. Way. I don't think that. I don't think that's correct. That's not fair. Like, why I can't, are I can't they? Stand by that. I can't stand by that. Where dude. are they different? You know what I, I mean? I where I is it that they're different in thought? Like that's very crucial, and that's the part that needs to come. Somehow we all. Have that's to a basic a conversation. conversation. That's like me and you have any. That's a basic conversation. Let me take you to a different example because I think it's that's wrong. What you said. If I have a conversation with somebody about politics. I may be, I, let's say, and I'm not Democratic or Republican, okay? Let's say I'm a Democrat and a Republican. 
we can have a conversation about politics and still agree on certain things. It doesn't mean that like, you know, so the principle mm-hmm. of Latin is a certain thing. There is a straight leg. We're not gonna, we're not gonna disagree with that. There is Cuban action. We're not gonna disagree with that. That is the principle of Latin. Standard has a- can get in the specifics of those things we might disagree. That's the technique, but there is a principle <laughs> of Latin dance, and I'm asking what the principle of rhythm dance is. And that's, that's, a, that's a conversation. I'm just trying to understand how to answer your question. You know what I mean? Because I like, I don't have a principle of rhythm. Like that, that's kind of like what I was saying before. There is no way to sum it all up. It's a complex thing. Like it's all of these things required on uh, everything required. And it's to me, what American rhythm is, is a book written, never changing from start to end. Uh, and it's not to say that uh, I can't, uh, and that book is long as shit. Uh, um, it's pretty- not to say that I can't create different forms of art with that book. So in that sense of what you're talking about, the technical principles of it, yes, don't change. But to me, they're a book long. The technical principles of American rhythm are a book long. There is no uh, single sentence. And, and that's why I say that those two guys just, you know, I'm, I'm being funny. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm exaggerating and just like I was with the person you're talking about, it could be someone who I actually value their opinion very much, you know, and I'm over here dogging them. I mean, it's totally, uh, I'm just saying uh, the details are important. (laughs) 